I want to talk today about the three biggest things, I'll probably cover more than three, but the three biggest things that I see is errors with left hand grip. It's really damaging to the way the club can move, your control of the club and your power. Hi, I'm Peter Knight and I've created this channel, Peter Knight Golf, to help you play the best golf you can. And today we're gonna to have a look at left hand and how it should work during the golf swing. The three biggest things I see is errors. You get these ones right and you're gonna have so much more control. Now the swing's a lever system. When I'm swinging in the golf club, the levers are my left arm and, the, and my arms, or both arms, and the shaft. And as they move back and through, now they're out of line, they swing into line and go through. And it's that catching up, that swinging into line that helps me gain speed and power. Now I have to allow my hands to work correctly in order to do that efficiently. So let's have a look at the first of the three things. The first one is that the club's generally gripped in the right hand incorrectly as far as the club going across the hands. So if we have a look, so on my glove, you can see that I've got two lines drawn across here. Most players, when I see them making an error with how they're holding the club in the left hand, they hold the club so it's running through the middle of the hand here. You can see that doesn't match up at all with the line on my glove. Now that line sort of runs from, the, the, I've got a crease in my palm here below the, the, the joint of my little finger, There's a, there'll be a crease in your palm. And that's right between those two lines there. And the other two lines sort of go through around about the middle of the first bone on the forefinger there. So when I put my hand on the grip, I'm putting the hand across this way. So now when my hand is facing the target, so my hand's coming into the side of the grip, not underneath, not on top, but straight into the side of the grip. It's following those lines there. So now when I close my hand, the fleshy part of my left hand here is sitting on top of the grip. Now when I hold the club, you might even be able to see there, there's quite a hollow there in my left hand. Now for most players that feels quite unnatural and it feels quite insecure as well, but it's correct. Because I'm holding the club more across the base of my fingers, now, my wrists can work nice and freely. So that's the first of the things that I see with the left hand. So the second is when players hold the club, they'll generally stretch the thumb down the grip. So again, if we come in a little bit closer, that's stretching the thumb down the grip. I can feel the tension going all the way up my arm, even into my shoulder there. So one of the things that we're looking for, this, so this is the second big thing, the thumb, or the knuckle on my thumb and the base of my forefinger are actually sitting, in my case, they're touching. So I haven't got a big gap there between those two knuckles there. So I'm not stretching that thumb down. That also goes sort of similar to what I said in the first uh, point about the club running across the hand correctly. If the club's running too much across here and the hands are stretching down, we're gonna be in trouble. The third thing, and this is a general thing for really both hands, is that for my club to work very efficiently as a lever system, I have to be nice and free through here. So the condition that I want my hand in when I'm swinging the club is that, or even holding it here, is that if I let go of the club, if I take my hand away, the club should drop. I've got so little tension through my hand, my wrist, and my forearm. I'm actually gonna give you a fourth thing. So I'll come in nice and close again. So if I hold my hand here, my wrist is vertical. There, my wrist is horizontal. When I'm holding the club correctly, my left wrist is pretty much vertical. So if I just back away a little bit, so now we can see that the bottom edge of the club here is running straight up and down, and my wrist is straight up and down. Now some players, as far as say the knuckles on the back of the hand, I can see two, maybe even part of my third knuckle, but anywhere from say two to three is gonna be okay. It's all right to have some slight variation there. That doesn't have to be perfect. But the three things that I mentioned, how the club runs through the hand, how the thumb sits, so those knuckles together, and that free movement, they're gonna be key for us. So when you're practicing these three things with the golf club, don't expect them to feel really comfortable immediately. That won't be the case. As soon as you start to swing the club, the, the feel of the balance of the club is going to change 
and that will take some getting used to. You should find that you'll be able to control the ball and control the movement of the club almost immediately as you start to get used to the movement, even though it still feels unfamiliar. Do that and I'm sure your shot control is going to improve greatly.